What's your worst personality cat trait? <laughs> okay. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. And what a surprise, I'm in drag. Why? Because I had to film a whole bunch of promo videos and I figured I might as well do a YouTube video whilst I'm at it as well. Big slay. So I'm not recording on my webcam this time, I'm recording on my phone and I've got it face and selfie portrait. So I'm trying my best to look directly at the camera, but I feel like there's gonna be a lot of times when I'm looking this direction because I'm just looking at myself. And if that doesn't say narcissist, then bitch, nothing will. <laughs> So I thought it would be a fun idea today to do a little Q&A with me and Drag. Um, so basically I got uh, my followers on Instagram to ask me a whole bunch of questions. They are completely anonymous, so I have no idea who sent them to me. And I'm just going to go through and answer them. I said they could be as unhinged as they want, and I have no idea what I'm about to read. So let's get into it. All right, first question. Did you watch Game of Thrones? Um, I watched the last season, and that was it. Uh, I just never got into it when it was around, and then by the time it was the last season, I finally had a flatmate who was, like, interesting enough to watch it with, and then, yeah. So I couldn't tell you anything that happened, I just remember people being real angry at it, and one of the episodes I couldn't see shit, so. Have you ever been fired from a job? No, but some days I wish I was, because it would have been a great motivation to go find something better. Tell me a random fact. Did you know that little plastic tip? on the end of your shoelace is called an aglet. I learned that from Phineas and Ferb and that to this day is still stuck in my mind. Who's the last person you texted? I don't think I've sent a text in a long time. Do people still text? Hang on. Oh, who was the last person I messaged on Messenger, let's say? Um, it was Kendra Surprise. Um, I saw them having drinks and I was like, come outside and hang out with us because we're cooler. But then I left because I got bored. What happened with Hugo Girl? Y'all have beef? Um, no, not that I know of. <laughs> Hugo moved up to Auckland. I stayed here in Wellington. I don't think we've ever had beef. And if we do, fun, I finally have a beef with someone. What's your dream house? Um, my dream house would be the, um, the, I don't know if it's their house, but it's like their den, basically, in Scooby-Doo 2. Where it's like, you know, like the really cool fucking like pit in the middle, and then all like the, the labs and stuff, and the real flashy just outside out. Yeah, that would be it. Scooby-Doo 2, if you don't know it, look it up. I'll put a photo here, but if you still don't know it, go watch the movie. If money and time wasn't an issue, what is something you'd like to learn? I'd love to learn how to fly a helicopter. I think that would be pretty dope. Because imagine, like, me landing in for a show, and I just fly my helicopter there. I'm just like, oh, could you just prep the helipad? I just got a little entrance I want to do. And then just, like, I come out like this, chopper blades blowing my hair all in the wind. Glam. Like, looking, like Nick, looking like Nicki Minaj from the Bang Bang music video. That's the one. Any pets? No, not yet, because I live in Wellington Apartments, and they suck when it comes to having animals. Um, literally... So many leases just don't allow fucking pets. And I would love to have a big dog. I want a massive dog. Like a Samoid. Or a... Or a Golden Retriever. Something big. Something that's just like... Gonna be like... My BFF forever. Wait. Best friend forever forever. My BFF. Who is your drag inspiration? Honestly, when I started doing drag, I never had like... I didn't follow drag, like, I wasn't, I didn't look, I didn't watch Drag Race, I didn't know any, um, other drag queens other than who was around our scene, and there wasn't that many of them, um, so my drag inspiration was honestly, like, Beyonce, as much as it's cliche to hear from a gay say that, um, literally, whenever I watched them perform live, it was always like, this is what I want to do, I don't want to be, like, funny, or, like, you know, like, big host energy, anything like that, I just wanted to put on concerts, and anytime I watched Beyonce's shows, I was always like, this is what I want to do. Um, I can't sing, so drag was the best next step. Ever cried in a movie? I've cried in so many movies. I think I cried in, like, Monsters, Inc. Um, I cried in Finding Dory, Finding Nemo. I, find an, I cried in Encanto. I cry in every movie, honestly. Even if it's a comedy, I'll, like, cry laugh. So I, yeah, I fucking cry in every movie. So if you don't want to cry next to you, don't take me. <laughs> Any advice for being in public dressed? I'm gender fluid, starting to venture outside of public places, 
Have you had any conflicts while out and about? Um, I mean, it's fully dependent on where you are. Like, I feel like in Wellington we're pretty good with um, being able to dress how we want. I don't feel like in a lot more European countries it's even more flexible, but there's definitely some cities in New Zealand especially that are like quite conservative. Not even if you were like to dress like, um, if you were just wearing a dress or you were wearing like, like a crop top or something. So you, sometimes they, they could be as triggered as you're wearing pink. Like, so I say go out there, just wear what you want to wear, be proud of it because it's true to who you are. Um, don't let other people tear you down about how you're being, how, about how you're dressing. Um, I know it's totally not the same situation, but what comes to mind is, um, I'll put a picture here, Harper from Wizards of Waverly Place, where she wore whatever the fuck she wanted and everyone's looking at her weird, but it made her happy. So I think if it makes you happy how you're dressing, then go out and dress however the hell you want. One friend you're thankful for. Um, actually I have three. Um, because they're my best friends in the entire world. Uh, v, Emily, and Olivia, they are my best friends down in Christchurch. I don't get to see them as much as I um, would like to, but they are honestly like my rocks. They were there for me when I came out. They've been there for me since, honestly, since when I first moved to New Zealand, and I love them so much. Don't know what I'd do without them. Um, but we're all turning 30 soon, so like, we're all fucking old as shit. Um, so yeah. Mwah. <laughs> Your worst personality characteristic. Um, I think it would be that I'm too trusting. Like, I've generally been like a really, really trusting person all my life. Um, that's just how I, how I was raised. It's like you always give people the benefit of the doubt. But then, you know, sometimes they just turn their back on you and sometimes they only using you until they don't need you anymore. And it sucks. And I think sometimes I just wish I had a bit more of a, I don't know, like a trust star or something. Like something that I could like detect people's trust if it's real or not um because yeah but you know like i said i'm almost 30 so nowadays i just don't really care as much if people i don't like i don't like and people i trust if they do me wrong yikes for them one artist you will never perform um i mean that's kind of tricky because i think i performed so many artists i can't really remember who performed i've performed them before in like, ironically, um, but someone I will never perform again, it will be Lana Del Rey. Um, there's so many gays that love Lana Del Rey and like work, if you if you like it, go for you. But I just don't need to make Lana Del Rey my entire personality. Like, it's, you know, it's not for me. I like being happy. I don't need to be sad every day. Is the judging for mix fair? Um, what they mean by mix is mixed capital drag, our drag pageant. Um, yeah, I guess so. I don't fucking know. Depends who's on the panel. I know when I was on the panel it was fair, because all my friends in the show, and I ranked them low because they sucked on the night. So, I'm fair. I'm fair as fuck. Absolute worst performance experience ever. Um, I think I talked about one time when like I got like elbow dropped or got kicked in the back of the head when I was performing at a hen's do. But probably like honestly the worst experiences are when we have crowds where they don't know how to react. So it's like, I think we did like, I think it was like a Christmas show or something and like it was a real corporate crowd and we did a number and it just like, it just no one was cheering, it was just real awkward, it was like, I don't know if anyone was actually enjoying this, people were on their phones. So that was probably one of the worst. But off the top of my head, I can't think. I feel like if I did have a worst, I'd blanked it out by now. <laughs> Fab performance of yours? I'm assuming that means fave performance. Um, would have to be at the Greatest Drag Show. Um, you can watch it on my channel, my Dua Lipa medley. Um, I, got to wore, I got to wear an outfit that was inspired by Dua Lipa's Grammy um, outfit. And it was honestly the greatest feeling. Like when the curtain rose and like, seeing 1,200 people there staring and cheering for me and just performing, it just felt incredible. Like an experience I'll just, I'll never forget. Who are you most scared will beat you at the mix finals? Um, first of all, I don't think I'm scared. Like, if someone beats me, then they beat me. It's not like my entire life, I don't... It's not that deep. <laughs> but I think who is probably, who I think is gonna beat me, or who I think 
has the best chance of beating me. I don't want to word this without sounding like a dick. Um, probably Eddie Demore. Um, Eddie is phenomenal. Their performances are outstanding. They've just grown so much in a short amount of time. Um, their classical training really puts them over the edge when it comes to the rest of us in Wellington Drag. And oh, Eddie's suit game is always like fire. So Eddie Demore. I think Eddie's. I think Eddie's gonna take it out. Have you ever watched Harry Potter? What a controversial question to ask. Um, I have, but weirdly enough, I didn't watch it until like maybe like six years ago or seven years ago um, because I just never really got into it. Kind of same with Game of Thrones. It just took me a while and then it wasn't until someone I knew was like, hey, do you want to watch this? And I was like, sure. And then I watched it and I was like, cool. Watched them all once. I haven't touched them since. What happened to retiring? Well, let me tell you, um, basically, the plan was, um, at the end of last year, was supposed to be, I was gonna look into, um, moving overseas with my partner, um, I was planning to, um, propose to them and everything, and then we were gonna get ready to have kids and, like, start a whole new life overseas, so I retired from drag, basically, because I wanted to focus all my money and time on that. But then, unfortunately, you know, life took a turn, and we are no longer together. So, I was just kind of like, well, if I'm no longer trying to save up to go overseas for this reason, I might as well just get back to drag again. That was honestly the main reason why I stopped doing it. So, there we go. There's the heartbreaking truth. I got dumped and Kelly was reborn. <laughs> Do you want kids eventually? I would love to have kids because I want to be the parent at like the the talent show and like my little my little child is just doing their little whatever it is on stage and I'm there like fucking screaming, clicking, yesing. Because if you've ever been to a drag show with me, you know I'm fucking loud. So imagine how loud I'll be for my own child. But parents would need to bring headphones to be around me. Last question, what sparked your triumphant return to drag? Well, we already went over this, but like, honestly, I felt like my drag career was being cut too short based on the choices I was um, making to progress my personal life. Um, at the time, I have absolutely no regrets on it because like, at the time it was absolutely correct. It's what I wanted to do. Um, I wanted to focus on moving overseas and starting a family with my um, significant other, but like, it's fine, life goes on, I'm in such a better place now. Uh, my drag is on a whole other level because I'm doing it with so many people that I absolutely love and adore. Um, and like, yeah, work, I'm single, not ready to mingle because I have dated too much in Wellington, so I'm gonna save it when I go to the UK and then we'll see how it goes over there. All right, well, thanks so much for watching everyone. I don't know when I'm gonna do another video in drag. If you want me to do more drag on YouTube, uh, let me know in the comments because this was actually kind of fun. Um, like, subscribe, um, follow me on all my social medias at CaliforniaNZ, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye!